Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Tableau TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing transforming general form to standard form of hyperbola. So let's have first a short recall about the standard forms of the hyperbola. So if the center is 0, 0, we have this form x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. Or it can be y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to 1. And E of the center is not located at the origin. We have the standard form for hk. X, uh, quantity x minus h raised to 2 over a squared minus quantity y minus k raised to 2 over b squared is equal to 1. So... Let's have this problem. 4x squared minus 5y squared plus 32x plus 30y is equal to 1. Put in mind that in our standard form, in hk, and if the center is at 0, 0, we have a square of a binomial. So our first step is we need to regroup the given. So we have 4x squared plus 32x. Now we have negative 5y squared then negative 30y is equal to 1. Why it became negative 30 because negative times negative is positive 30 and negative times positive 5 negative 5 and now let's make it or uh, let's get first the common factor so 4 now we have x squared plus 32 divided by 4, that is 816 to the power 32, so 8x, so plus blank. Let us write the plus blank to make it a perfect square trinomial. Minus, here is 5, y squared minus negative 30. Negative 30, oh, 30 divided by 5, that is 6, 6 y plus blank is equal to 1. Now, let us make this a perfect square trinomial. So, Divide by 2, get the middle term, divided by 2, so 8 divided by 2, that is 4. Square, 4 square is 16. So we need to add 16 here. And of course, on the right side, we need 2, so we have 4 here, the 4, multiply it to the 16. Now, let us make this a perfect square trinomial. Negative 6 divided by 2, that is negative 3. Negative 3 squared, which is positive 9. Of course, we need to add that into our right side. So cut in negative 5 times 9. Okay. Now, we have 4. Open parenthesis, make it the square of a binomial. So x plus the square root of 16, 4 raised to 2, minus 5y minus the square root of 9, 3 raised to 2, is equal to 1 plus 4 times 16. That is 64. 
minus 45. So simplify. So we copy 4x plus 4 raised to 2 minus 5y minus 3 raised to 2 is equal to 1 plus 64, that is 65, minus 45, that is 20. So in our standard form, it must be equal to 1. So we need this to divide by 20 and by 20. So this is now equal to 1. So simplify 4 divided by 20. That is 1 over 5. Or simply for our answer, x plus 4 squared all over 5 minus 5 divided by 20. That is 1 fourth. So our denominator is 4. Y minus 3 squared. So this will be the standard form of the hyperbola. So that's the step on how to transform general form to a standard form of the hyperbola. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.